background on why we're here. Uh, on the 8th of July, there was an accident of such uh, magnitude that uh, it's one of those that you dread ever hearing come in. Uh, it was a motor vehicle accident, rollover, entrapment, car was on fire. On uh, Gulf Road, uh, it came in around noontime. Of course, as most of volunteers know, that's the worst time of day for anything to happen in the volunteer town. Uh, we were fortunate enough to have some bystanders, uh, some firefighters from a neighboring town who lived in the area, and some people that were available during the day to respond to this call and to attempt to rescue. We're here to recognize those people tonight. Um, what I would like to do is first uh, introduce some of our guest speakers. I'd like to start with Penny Bakiyaki. If you come up, please. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say how grateful I am to represent three towns with such outstanding emergency response personnel, from the volunteer and the paid firefighters to the state police and the local police and all of the people that serve in the public health and the emergency response team. For the last six years, I've had the honor of representing these towns, and again and again and again, I've heard from our constituents how you've saved their daughter's life, or how you pulled their uncle from a car wreck. So as unfortunate as I was to hear about what happened on July 8th, and I happened to have been on Gulf Road that afternoon, and was rerouted and reminded again, never be upset when you're stuck in traffic because there's so many worse fates that can hit you. But as I was doing the turnaround, I was reminded again of how the 52nd District, which is Stafford, Summers, and Union, is represented and served by such fine people as all of you. Um, I also want to make a note about the cooperation that exists between the Stafford, Summers, and Union uh, fire departments and the other neighboring towns that that's part of what makes our rural area such a wonderful place to live and to work. I feel safe, my family feels safe, and all of the townspeople have a sense of peace and security because of what all of you do. And I thank you for what you did for the family on that day, but even more importantly, for what you do for all of us every single day of the year. It's an honor to um, recognize the people that we're recognizing today. Thank you. Alan, Bakiaki, our first electman to come up. Good evening. Uh, as I was sitting in my office today, I was thinking about what was going to go on tonight. And uh, I know all the firemen, and I know what a terrific job they do. And just like Penny, I mean, I'm so proud to see, to be able to have the honor just to stand here tonight, and just to be part of, the, uh, of this presentation. It just makes me feel so good. I know for all uh, the firemen. I know uh, Jimmy Dessel, especially uh, uh, what better or well because uh, I have the opportunity to work with him, not on a daily basis, but at least a couple of times a week. And uh, he does a, a great, great job uh, for the town, just like the fire departments do for the fire departments. And, uh, I didn't have a chance to go to the fire departments over here today and read up on every little thing that was happening, but I did know that uh, down in the veterans room, the town hall, we have plaques hanging up there, little citations and uh, awards. And So I went down and I read them. And, uh, there was two of them there, and uh, they were for Jimmy Desso that were hanging in our breakfast room, and I think we went to the police academy and with Sergeant Duncan and uh, Officer Desso, and uh, I'm very proud of our police force, I'm very proud of our uh, <coughs> fire departments, and uh, I think that it's great that we're all here to recognize both of them tonight. I'd just like to read a little bit to you what it says on the plaques. Uh, from the police, Donald Police Academy, we received a United, uh, unit citation for the Stafford Police Department. It was a despondent male ran into the woods, threatening to harm himself. The ability to think quickly under pressure by those on the scene helped defuse a volatile situation. The second one was from the Department of Public Safety, Connecticut State Police. Sergeant James Desho is to be commended for a superior performance and his high degree of efficiency to save the life of a citizen. I just brought Jimmy up because I know him personally, I know what he did, and I know the firemen of all did all great deeds too, but I just happened to have this very well available to me, so I thought I would share it with you. Thank you. Thank you. 